Hello, welcome back to a new video on Lauren Hardy memorabilia and chaplain collectibles. In this video I've got a whole set of my Danby Mint Lauren Hardy plates that have been away in the cupboard and uh, I've not been able to have them out due to wall space or cabinet space but it's nice to get them out, have a look at them and, uh, and just talk about them. So the first one in the set is this one which is actually called Stable Lads which is from the silent film Wrong Again and a uh, really nice shot there of both Law and Hardy with the horse and uh, you've got their signatures in gold at the bottom of the plates which I really really like that it just adds to the quality of the uh, of the set of plates and then on the back you've got details on the back which it just says uh, at the top here stable lads a fine porcelain collector's plate portraying the timeless magic of Law and Hardy with also you've got the um, the Larry Harmon uh, logo there at the bottom as well and uh, they all come with their own certificates and they're all all individually numbered as well so that's the first one in the set uh, the second one this one is called uh, Dog, Dog Tired And that shot there, that is from Early to Bed, which is also another silent Lauren Hardy film. Uh, that's a famous shot there of them on the park bench and the dog. In fact, I've got a shot there uh, just on the wall there, the same, the same poster as this one. Really nice early shot there from an early silent Lauren Hardy comedy. And then the next one... This one is called To Me To You, which is from, uh, that's from Swiss Mess. Really nice shot there with the piano on the bridge when they meet the gorilla. Great shot there. And then this next one, I think, is from The Flying Deuces, yeah, which is uh, The Foreign Legion. A nice shot there of Stan and Ollie from the Flying Deuces, and uh, that's the uh, RKO um, distributed film. So this isn't a How Roach film. This is the uh, the film where they went away and did this film separate from the Howard Studios. Uh, really great film. Gets a bit fiddly. You have to keep opening up each box, but this is probably the best way to do it without getting them damaged. Uh, this shot is from, this one is called Another Fine Mess. Great shot there. So that is actually a shot there from the uh, the Bullfighters, which is the last uh, 20th Century Fox film they made before they left that studio. So that's the last film they made. And then a few years later they did um, That's OK or Utopia and then and then that was it, that was the last film. Uh, and then this one is Reluctant Recruits. Great shot there from Bonnie Scotland. Really nice shot there. And again, they've all got the gold, gold signatures. A really nice shot. So these are really ideal to have like around the, the tops of the wall or on one wall together or on uh, uh, special shelving that supports plates which is ideal. Um, this one is a, a Christmas shot there with uh, the Christmas presents and this one is called uh, Merry Christmas to Me with Ollie with all the Christmas presents and then you've got Stan he's just been given just one small Christmas present there, so quite a funny, funny shot there. This one is called Stitched Up. I keep looking at this photo, if there's anyone out there that uh, can remember where this is from, and 
you can uh, message me and just remind me. I can't actually remember uh, what production that will be on. Unless it's behind the scenes shot with Stan sewn up the back of Ollie's trousers. So they all come with their own individual certificates, which is uh, which is actually really important. The same with a lot of figures and busts. Some have certificates with those, so it's really important to keep them because it all adds to the authenticity and the value, and uh, it just keeps it all together. Uh, this one is called Bright Spark, which is a very famous shot from Wow West. Really great shot there. We got here next. Oh yeah, famous one. This is the removal man. This one's called. And we all know this one, which is uh, the music box. It's a very famous comedy shot. Love that one. Now I believe the last one would be the stacks shot. The uh, Bud Stacks Graves uh, uh, photographer, yeah, in the double double head shot. That's one of my all-time favourite shots. And there was a few videos back where I showed the original photograph of the same shot with the original photo um, autographs. Really, really super. Just the same as the poster just behind me. And then when I was in the cupboard, I completely forgot that I had these three t-shirts. Um, and then uh, I saw the bag and I remembered right away. And this has got the uh, the world's only official Lauren Hardy Museum, Olveston, on it. And uh, I got this t-shirt, which is going back to 1989 when I, when I first went to the Lauren Hardy Museum when I was 10 years old. So this is uh, this is pretty old now, this t-shirt, and uh, I'm not going to be able to fit into that now. So uh, it just shows you how big I was back then, at the age of 10. Um, really nice shot of Lauren Hardy with the famous headshots again, and uh, just really super t-shirt. And uh, I will uh, probably keep this because it reminds me of when I first... Uh, went to the museum and when I was first introduced to the um, to the museum as it was then and to also to Bill Kubin as well when I met him so uh, it brings back a lot of memories and then a little while after that uh, another small t-shirt there that I used to wear from uh, shot there from Sons of the Desert and this one from Laughing Gravy so yeah, so these t-shirts are really, they're no good to me now, but I, I keep them as a, as a memory of really when it all started for me, seriously, especially this one. So uh, it's what really got me into collecting when I first saw the museum, it really took my interest in them, wanting to sort of stretch my knowledge and wanting to learn a lot about them from then on, from the age of 10. So, uh, so there it is for this video, so that's my my plates and my few original t-shirts, or my first Law and Hardy t-shirts, and um, do some more videos again soon, um, which has actually given me more time to do more videos, because uh, of all with the lockdown and all the sad news in the world, what's going on at the moment, so it's given me a lot more time and opportunity to really dig in to a lot of things that I've not shown and not spoken about, or not talked about and gone through, which is something that I really want to do. So, uh, so stay safe everybody and uh, enjoy collecting. Bye for now.